हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन माय चैनल टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन जोमैटो रेटिंग डैशबोर्ड टू यू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो विल शो यू फर्स्ट द डेटा सेट सो वी हैव दिस डेटा सेट फॉर जोमैटो डेटा ऑफ जोमैटो डेटा सो हियर वी विल हैव अ रेस्टोरेंट आईडीज वी विल हैव अ रेस्टोरेंट नेम वी वी हैव द कंट्री कोड we have the city we have the address we have the locality we have the locality verbs we have the longitude latitude we have the cuisines we have the currency we have the uh, one column as has table booking has online delivery it is in s and no it's like a flag it is uh, is delivery now and then the uh, we have the switch to order menu or not it is in also s and no flags then we will have the price range then we will have the votes then we will have the average cost for two and we will have the rating okay so we have to create the dashboard by using this data set this is the data of the zomato okay so uh, zomato is nothing but the online food delivery so we'll see how to create this dashboard so this is what i have created in power bi so uh, for creating this dashboard first we have to add the heading of this dashboard so this dashboard naming as the zomato dating dashboard okay so this is the uh, text box i have taken it from here so you will have to go to the format you will have to go to the insert tab there you will get this text box and then you will have to click over there and then you will get this at here in the this dashboard okay then you will have to write this zomato rating dashboard here and then we have to change this background color from this setting in the effects we will get this background color from here we'll set the background color for this dashboard okay so here uh, from here we can set the size we can give the color we can bold italic underline it we can align it in center left and right also so in this way we can create this text box and we can write the heading there okay and uh, we can do the formatting by selecting this we can set the yeah we can fix the size of this particular visual in this dashboard from here position also we can set we will have this option for giving the title for background for visual border so uh, here from here we can add the shadow also so in this way we can do the format for uh, formatting for this text box then i have added this uh, slicer so these all are the slicers i have taken it from this visualization pane here you will get this slicers visualization you will have to click over there and then you will get that in the dashboard pane then here you can add the field so in this filter i have added the country code in the next filter you can directly copy and paste that in the uh, bottom of that then you can add this you can add the price range here and then has online delivery okay so from here we are able to select any number like country if the country code is 14 if customer wants to see the country code for 14 what is the price range so if they select 2 so the price range is 2 and then has online delivery or not so here is only one option so no then they are able to see the data filtered likewise like for country code 12 for price range 2 and this has online delivery no okay so this will filter overall data according to this filters okay and then this this is the cards so this is the card we can add it from this card option in the visualization pane here also we have to click on that uh, card visual we will get this over here on the dashboard then you will add you will have to add the number of restaurant field from here this field pane so from here you will add the number of restaurant okay 
so you can you can add this uh, restaurant id and then you can change the name from here also you can edit this name here also and you can set that uh, you can edit that in the formatting pane also okay we'll see that and uh, likewise uh, i have added these three cards here i have taken the number of countries and here i have taken the number of cities okay so it will also filter according to this uh, filters okay so we'll check that also so we'll see the cards formatting here so we can so this is the call out value so we can do the formatting from here for call out value we can increase and decrease the size of this call out value okay so it will increase or decrease the size according to our requirement we can set the font color bold italic and underline it we can set the color also from here we can set the display units also and we can wrap the text and we can spacing the source okay so uh, this is the call uh, category labels so we can uh, show that or we cannot so if we have to show this number of countries here then you you will on this and if you don't want to see this then you can off okay and then you can add the title also so in the general there you can add the title so if you add the title you will able to see this number of countries over here okay and from properties you can set that uh, position of that particular visual on this dashboard so from effects you can set the background color visual border shadow like that you can add the tooltip from here so in this way you can do the formatting for cards then the next visual i have added is this this is the area chart i have taken it from this visualization pane so this is the area chart if uh, you want to carry that in the dashboard then you have to click over there and then you will get this here so here i have added the country code in x axis and the uh, rating and the price range in the y axis okay so it is showing the rating and price range by country code okay so it is for the now i have this cursor over here so it will show the country code 14 the rating is 87.80 and the price range is the 51 okay then this all are the constant okay so this area chart is showing the rating and price range by the country code okay if you move the cursor over here it will shows you the data okay then the next is uh, this uh, restaurant by city so this is nothing but the cluster bar chart so this is the cluster bar chart you can add that in the dashboard and then you will have to add the city and the restaurant id in x and y axis then you will able to see this graph okay so this is the restaurant by city so you can see uh, we we have the more number of restaurant in the new delhi from here okay so this is showing the highest number of restaurant in the city so in the new delhi we have the highest number of restaurant for zomato then the gorgon then noida you can able to see the sorted data here okay then next is the uh, count of city by price range okay so this is also the stacked column chart we have taken it from here and here uh, we have added the uh, price range and the count of city okay so according to price range what is the count of city okay so for the price range one there are four 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 three count of the cities we can analyze like that okay then this is the matrix so here we have added the restaurant name in the rows so that we can able to see this restaurant name here in the rows then we have added the average of rating according to this restaurant name we will able to see this uh, rating and the average cost for two okay so from here you can analyze that so mostly we use the matrix or table for the deep detailed information about any particular thing like here we are able to see the uh, by particular restaurant name we are able to see the rating and the cost for two okay so in this way we can create this dashboard i am sharing this dashboard and the data this pbix file and the data set in the description so if you have to practice it you can take it from there and you can practice so thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos okay thank you